All right, so everybody knows about Photoshop and the Creative Cloud Photography Plan. Everybody also knows how incredibly expensive it is. Now, Adobe does offer a Photoshop Express Editor that is free. And just like it says, it helps make your snapshots look great with an easy option for quick fixes and creative enhancements. So I just wanted to do a quick tutorial of just exactly how easy it is to use Adobe Photoshop Express Editor. And also to show you the limitations that arise with the fact that it's free. So unfortunately, it's not nearly as thorough as Photoshop. And you really do end up losing a lot of the tools that Photoshop can provide. So this is a picture of my son about a year ago. It's actually already had some editing done to it. I believe it was through Instagram, though. So obviously that it, it very simple program that they have as well. Now, let's say, so the Photoshop Express Editor has some of the basic tools, crop and rotate, resize, autocorrect, exposure, red eye, touch up, and saturation, as well as some basic adjustments. You've got your white balance, highlight, fill light, dodge, burn, sharpen, and focus, as well as some effects. So if I wanted to make this black and white, it'd be pretty easy to go in. I've got a variety of black and white that I can choose from, ranging in different gray scales. I think this one's probably one of my favorites. And then we can go back to the original as well. So I could also come in here and try to sort of adjust right here on my son's face where he's kind of lost some of his color. Just come in here and we've got three brush sizes, three different exposure settings, and three different brush hardness settings. So again, not as much control over the tool itself as you would have maybe on Photoshop. So you can just kind of come in here. You can see already his face looks lighter. Focus especially down here on his full mouth. Try to get that to stick out some, as well as maybe on the bridge of my nose. cheekbone and then we can kind of let's see here do a sharpen to try to bring it back into focus go through the different ones that they have let's go with this one you can, do still have the ability to zoom in on different parts of the photo that you wanted to edit which is helpful um, you could go into the hues and mess with them some it turns the photo into a sketch and it's got a couple different varieties that you can choose from how sketched they are. Let's see here we can do one of these. Let's go with this. And so part of it's really just playing with all of the features they have on here. They do have quite a few that you can have some fun with your photo which is great because it is a free option. They have not only this desktop version, but they also have an app that you can download for your phone or your tablet. So if you needed to maybe edit a photo while you're at work. Another thing that you can do, which is really nice, is they have this little decorate, decorate page. You could add text just like you would on Photoshop. You can add bubbles. You can add little party themed stickers basically, little animal prints, go in and add a tiger I suppose, not that that fits, but um, you could go through and pick out costumes to add. And this is really fun, especially because if you are just sort of creating a little photo and you want to add this silly piece to it, especially if it's for a blog post or, um, you know, like if we had gone really with that cartoon style, these, these would be so much fun to add on. Now, there's not a large amount of options for you. It is all very basic. However, 
for a free program, it, it does a really good job of allowing you to have these options. Say you're new to Photoshop or you just you have a little blog post and you have a blog and you like to make sure your photos look good or say you want a little more photo editing than Instagram can provide you. However, you don't want to pay for it. This is a wonderful way to be able to have access to something that can really allow you to increase the photo manipulation skills that you have. And for somebody who's not wanting to pay for Photoshop, this is a wonderful tool. You can also do some distorting, which can just make for funny faces. I think what I'm going to do is come in here and go back to that sketch that we had. I think that was my favorite. And so basically, this is just a small overview of what you can do and access through Adobe Photoshop Express Editor at absolutely no cost, which is wonderful. Now, when you're done here, you can just save it to your computer and you can go in and just sort of change the name. However, unlike Photoshop, my understanding is that once it's completed, if I were to pull this back up, I would not be able to continue editing the changes I had already made. So, so we can actually try it out. we go in here we can't go and undo anything so unlike on Photoshop where you can save your work and then you could go back in and still edit things back down to the original possibly that is not an option with Adobe Photoshop Express editor once you've made that save your changes are complete and there's no real going back so you know, if you were working on something and you are at a good stopping part and you knew you weren't going to change anything, you could absolutely save that. And then maybe if you saved it to some sort of online drive, you would still have access from that. So you started on your desktop and you wanted to move into more of working on your tablet while you're on the dart or while you're in a taxi or even at your lunch break at your office, then you would be able to pull this photo up off of your online drive, but you would not be able to go in and make any changes anymore. So that is just my overview of Adobe Photoshop Express Editor.